Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our December 2021 tarot reading. And this is going to be for the sign of Gemini, sun, moon, and rising. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers, the highest good of all. Oops, we got a flipper, so we're going to take this flipper. Spirit is already choosing a card for us in the middle of the month. I'll take a card from the center and the end of the month. I'm going to take a bottom card. Whoops. <laughs> we just had some beads fall off the table and jump. Whoa. <laughs> you got some energy here, Gemini. Sounds like you're restless. Cards jumping, beads falling. <laughs> Let's see what we have here in the beginning of the month. We have the Six of Cups. So maybe someone's jumping back into your life in the beginning of December. This is a card of nostalgia. This is a card of, you know, looking back at the past with fond memories, but not letting yourself get caught up in the emotion of it. It's great to remember things from the past. Uh, beautiful moments, especially around the holidays where we're extra emotional, but we can't live in the past. Okay, this could signify maybe somebody um, that you've gone to school with, haven't seen years and years, maybe a childhood friend, maybe a family member you haven't spoken to in a while. Uh, whatever it is, it looks like maybe someone from the past is coming back into your life in the beginning of December. Uh, and you need to decide, you know, was this someone that, you know, it, it's best to love them from afar or is it someone that you want to reunite with? You'll know with your gut feeling exactly what you need to do with this, this person or situation that comes back uh, in the beginning of the month. And then in the middle of the month, we have the world. So looks like we're closing out a cycle here. You're feeling like you've completed something. You're feeling like you're on top of the world. Maybe it was some unfinished business that you had with this person here that came back that you finally got closure. And now you're able to move on. Uh, whatever it is, you're, you're feeling content. Okay, the world card is a, a very, very positive aspect for you to have. Uh, it's a card of success and, and victory and triumph that you're feeling in the middle of the month. That you've accomplished some sort of a goal. Okay, and you're feeling delighted with whatever it is uh, that you've achieved. Uh, so it's a card of achievement. Okay, it's a beautiful, beautiful assurance of, of success, you know, and a well-deserved triumph in the, in the middle of the month. Um, and it doesn't indicate something that was an overnight success. This is something that you've been really working hard towards, Gemini. And the rewards that you're getting are very well-deserved. And you're going to feel very, very delighted and happy in the middle of December. And then at the end of the month... We have the Five of Swords. Okay, now swords are the mental energy. We have these people here uh, who are in the background walking away. And this gentleman here is, is holding swords as though he maybe disarmed them and took their swords from them. Uh, looks like he's defending himself and he's, you know, basically standing his ground. Okay, he has this very serious look on his face. And what this card is telling us is... There may be some kind of deceit going on at the end of the month, okay? Um, and you don't want this deceit to upset uh, what you've achieved, okay? You, you've achieved something. You have triumphed. You have victory in the middle of the month. So don't allow this nonsense here, whatever this is, at the end of the month. It could be someone with a hidden agenda, Okay, and I always feel being forewarned is forearmed. So you'll be aware of, you know, certain people and you probably already have someone in your mind right now who this could be at the end of the month. It could be, you know, somebody who's being deceitful uh, in your family, it could be circle of friends, it could be spouse, lover, partner, but someone's not being honest with you in their dealings at the end of the month. Okay, and there could be some underhandedness that is going on at the end of the month. So just be aware, okay? It may represent something that, you know, is lost in an unfair manner, or perhaps someone leaving suddenly from your life, someone exiting without even giving you an explanation or even the truth, okay? And they don't care. They're just insensitive. They're just, you know, leaving. Um, 
um, but whatever this is, you know, it also indicates maybe someone being selfish and, you know, doing whatever it takes to win at all costs. But, you know, when you do something like that and you shortchange people, you know, it, the victory is very short-lived. Okay, so you want to make sure that this is not you, that you're behaving in an ethical manner in all of your undertakings at the end of the month as well. Wow. Interesting month. I'm wondering if the person who's coming back is going to be the person who's showing their true colors at the end of the month. So be real careful whether you take this person back because you should be proud of all that you've achieved, Gemini. I know I've gone through a lot. I've grown so much in these last two years, more than, more than the entire journey that I've been on for like at least, oh my goodness, since like 2011, 2012, I think these last two years have made such progress in my life and I'm not giving it up. So be aware of your achievements, be proud of yourself and do not allow whoever this is here uh, to throw you off balance. If you've enjoyed this reading, please like it by giving it a thumbs up, share it and above all subscribe because I will be back with more.